Entering the U.S. by swimming across the St. Clair River is one crime. What a Canadian man did once he reached Macomb County is another. A report you will see only on Local 4. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. This all had to do with a man named Jeremy Wallace who's being held tonight in federal custody. He admitted to illegally entering the U.S. from Sombra, Ontario, then swimming across the St. Clair River into East China Township, then walking more than 16 miles to New Haven and a pawn shop. Sean Lay is live. Sean, this is just scratching the surface of this really wild case. Truly, we want to show everyone what this was kind of like. We're on the Westcott, Detroit River, not as wide as St. Clair River, but we'll give you a drone shot to show you, give you an idea of how wide and how challenging that is. Guy from Canada on this side says he cannot get a gun on that side because he's convicted of a gun crime. His gun was confiscated, but a lot of ammunition was found in his home. Swims across the river and to steal a gun, he says that's exactly what he did. Now, the question is, he was going to swim back. What was he going to do when he got back to Canada with a stolen firearm? You are seeing exactly what a Macomb County Sheriff's deputy is seeing as he navigates through this wooded area in New Haven. We see this through his body camera. Now we can show you the takedown of this man from Canada named Jeremy James Wallace. He was armed. He had a loaded handgun. He had ammunition on him. He was on the loose, causing nearby New Haven Elementary and New Haven High School to go on lockdown. It happened September 6th. Now Wallace is in federal custody. This federal complaint is I opening. It reads that Wallace told investigators that he illegally entered the United States, crossed an international border by swimming across the St. Clair River into the area of East China. The complaint reads Wallace was unable to obtain a gun in Canada, so he researched pawn shops that sell guns in the United States with the intent of illegally entering the United States and steal a firearm. And Wallace admits he did, dressed in a wetsuit with a flotation device and wearing swim fins with a crossbow pistol strapped to his back with nine rounds of ammunition with him. He swam across the river at midnight September 6th, ditched the wetsuit, and then walked more than 16 miles to New Haven and went into this pawn shop twice. An employee tells us he thought something was up with Wallace. He directed staff to not sell him a firearm. Wallace then grabbed a 22 Sig Sauer handgun and two clips and ran. Employees gave chase. Macomb Sheriff's deputies responded quickly and found Wallace for this arrest. The stolen handgun was on him and was now loaded. Wallace stated that he was arrested in Canada on a firearms charge. His weapon was confiscated. Sources say his house was packed with ammunition. His plan was to swim back across the river and return home to Canada with the gun. All right, back here live along the Detroit River now. A lot of things stand out about that. That's a lot. But first of all, the pawn shop guys who we met today, they didn't, they had a bad feeling about this. They didn't know he swam over until we told him today, and they would not sell him a gun. They just had a bad feeling about it. They said, do not sell that guy a gun. They're also impressed with Macomb County sheriffs who got there so quickly to chase him down in that wooded area that you saw. He's being held tonight in federal detention throughout his court case now. Question remains, there was a lot of ammunition in his house, guys, in Canada. They wanted to know what he he was going to do what the plan was why he wanted a firearm so badly back to you a wild and bizarre case sean we appreciate your report tonight